Hi, I'm Heidi Brock with the Aluminum Association, and I'm really pleased to be here today with Dr. Fiona Solomon. Uh, Dr. Fiona Solomon is the Executive Director of the Aluminum Stewardship Initiative, and she brings to the role more than 20 years of expertise in the sustainability field. So, Fiona, thank you so much for being with us today. It's a pleasure, Heidi. I would love to have you share a bit more about the Stewardship Initiative and some of the goals that you have underway. For sure. So the Aluminium Stewardship Initiative is bringing together stakeholders from all parts of the aluminium value chain, associations such as yours, um, civil society organisations and other stakeholders interested in sustainability issues and how we can promote those and advance those um, for society's benefit. The main focus of ASI is to build an independent third party certification program that's looking to advance particular sustainability issues and provide a point of differentiation for those companies that do seek certification. Can you tell us why global certification is so important? We've seen it emerge in a whole range of sectors, from forestry to coffee to cotton to diamonds. And in all of those sectors, they've served as a way to advance practices, increase impacts of those sectors on the ground, and be a point of differentiation for consumers and for customers that are seeking to be more preferential in the way they source. So this is part of a big picture movement, I would say, in terms of how standards can drive um, you know, good practice, responsible practice, responsible sourcing, and for um, us to think about the kinds of purchasing, purchasing decisions we make as societies and, and governments and as individuals, create impact and create positive impact ultimately through um, being able to show that um, the kinds of practices that are implemented can actually be positive and minimize negative impacts. So uh, Fiona, can you tell us about the business case for a certification standard such as ASI? I think there's a, a lot of different drivers for, for that business case that it can include things like um, understanding supply chain risks better and putting in place due diligence processes to manage those. Um, it can include um, meeting consumer or stakeholder expectations. Increasingly, we're seeing civil society organizations using these kinds of certification programs um, as a way to, to um, roll out best practice um, amongst different sectors. Um, and it can also be um, a way to leverage the kinds of um, activities and programs and policies and, and so on that companies already do and start to, to provide a value to that. Um, to customers and, and to the market in general through differentiation. So um, I think there's a, a range of important um, business cases that have emerged for sustainability standards and we're seeing those flow across a whole lot of sectors um, and a lot of traction being made and benefit being delivered to those who participate. What's the most important thing that you're hoping to accomplish this year in this process? This year we have a lot of work to do on um, designing the assurance model so understanding how the audit process will work, um, this idea of, of change, the desired change and the long-term impacts, and how we um, create that um, uh, sort of uh, audit process and, and um, assurance model that delivers that and collects the data that demonstrates um, at an individual level for a company being certified, how they communicate that to their customers, but also at an aggregate level, how we look at what kind of change ASI is achieving across, across the value chain. And finally, what advice do you have for us in North America uh, as we participate with you in the process? The Aluminum Association is a member of ASI. While we haven't endorsed the standard, we are an active participant. We want to make sure that our North Amer American perspectives are represented in the process as well. What advice would you have? I think it's hugely important. We've got a growing membership with participation from, from North America and um, there's opportunities to become involved in that, to join ASI as members in their own right, as well as work through associations such as yours and participate concrete input into um, specific work programs that we're developing on matters like recycling, like greenhouse gas emissions, like how ASI's program can harmonize with existing programs that, that um, are in common use within the sector. So there's a lot of concrete areas where people can get involved. And there's also open consultation periods where we really want to have the perspectives of how markets are happening on the ground. And something like certification, which is ultimately a market-based mechanism, can fit with that effectively and, and create the, the maximum benefit that we can. Great. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us today and, and sharing some of your perspectives, and thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Heidi.